Hello, uh, today we're going to be going through a, a very quick session to introduce the Clever Recommendations GUI Editor and we're going to show you how you can create a recommendation banner template looking like this uh, in just a few um, few minutes. Um, but before we get into that I just want to take a moment to introduce some of the core concepts of the Clever Recommendations Editor. So on the right hand side here we can see a live preview. Uh, at the top we have a title. Uh, this would be the, the title of your particular banner. So it might be you may also like or customers also bought, something like that. Whatever, whatever title that you've given a particular banner for your store. Then below that we can see each of the individual product cells and some attributes about them together with some, um, some carousel logic over here. We also have uh, some, some preview icons over here to see in different uh, device sizes. So I can switch to see tablet view and I can also see mobile view and everything still works so you can get a good idea of what your customers are going to see on your store when they're using different devices. On the left hand side we have the general overview of what makes up your banner. So if we just take a look at the product area for now, so this, this product area represents a single cell of a product in your banner. So we can see within this product cell we've got an image over here, we've got a badge or a ribbon up here, then we've got name, color and price, name, color and price. Then at the top of this we've got the scrolling and navigation and this is what controls these uh, this, this carousel and this is where we can configure it. And this is all contained within this one area called product list area. Alongside the product list area, just above it in fact, we have the title area and within here we have just one component called recommendation title. We could have more but we've just got one for now and that's what we mentioned before, this uh, you may also like or customers also bought, things like this. And at the very top we have this banner area which is your, it's your root component, it's your very top level um, and everything else is, is uh, held below this one. So let's dive in and try and recreate this from scratch. So I'm going to switch over to a blank template and let's build this step by step together. So first of all we click on the plus and we can see a pop-up that shows add component and we're given here a list of just one component now because there's only one component applicable when we've got nothing else over here. So first of all we click on banner area and we can see this has been added and then within this we can add another one. So now when we click on component we can see we've got a few more options and the options available here will change based on the context of where you are, what, what kind of component, uh, sorry what area you're adding a component to. Uh, also we might be adding uh, new components periodically so things might look a little bit different here but the concept is the same, you're adding a new component. So let's start by adding our title area to the top and then to this let's add a component called recommendation title and we can see that this has appeared straight away. Now alongside title area we want to add a product list because we want some products to appear down here. So let's go back to the banner area, click on the plus and this time let's add product list area. Now to this product list area we want to add individual product cells so let's add a product area. And this You can see this icon looks a bit like a product with an image and some text. Um, nothing appears yet because we haven't added, added anything to it so if I click on plus and for now I'll just add an image and now we can see something uh, starting to look a little bit like a recommendation banner so let's take a pause here um, just to, to fix up some of the styling because we've got some uh, th this text is quite close to this so let's come over to the recommendation title and we'll see that we've got this cog icon here and in fact all of the components have uh, some a cog where you can configure some extra settings. So let's click on this and we can see here we've got various controls that we can use uh, to configure this, com this particular component. So let's just make the font size a bit bigger so change from 12 to 15 um, and then let's add some margin. Let's maybe add 2% margin and now we've got a little bit of spacing over here. So you can play around with all of these settings as you wish, changing font colors and alignments and things, but that's all we need to do for now. So let's come out of there. The next thing I'm going to add is to the product list area, alongside our, our product cells, we also want some, a carousel. 
So let's click on the plus once more and add some scrolling and navigation. So let's click on this and we can see here we've got scrolling and navigation and we've actually got these arrows appearing and when I click on them we can scroll through um, as you would expect. If we configure this, we've got various options available like the different styles of buttons that we might want to use. Um, so we can again play with any of these as we wish uh, but that's okay for us for the time being. Okay, now we want to finish out the rest of our product cell because it's looking a little bit bare at the moment. So let's come back to the product area, click on plus, and let's add a badge. So we can see now we've got the word sale appearing on every single product. Uh, if we click on the configure, we can see custom text, the word sale. Now whatever we type here is what's going to appear in this uh, area here. So that's not, not too useful for us right now. So in fact, what we want to change this to is an attribute because we want this to be dynamic based on the data that is indexed with Clevu. So if we click on attribute, uh, we can now type in here the name of any attribute that you have indexed in for your store. So for example, if we add color, we can see the word green appear, uh, or yellow or green. So this is the color of each of these particular products. I'm just going to make this a little bit easier to see. So I'm going to change the background color to black. And I'm going to change the font color to white. So now we can see over here, it's appearing a bit better. And I'm going to change this to a circle. Okay, so we also have various different uh, ribbon types available. Um, let's go with the circle one for now. Um, I don't really want to use uh, color for, for the badge over here. I'm going to use that somewhere else. Um, but for this particular store, we actually have an attribute called stock level indexed. And this gets populated when... Uh, there's, it, for this particular store, when there's high stock or low stock, um, we have some data available. So here you can see that for this particular product, there's high stock, but there's no badge appearing for these ones because they don't have any value for that attribute. Um, so let's drop out of here. That's our badge done. Now we need to add some more information down at the bottom about this particular product. So if we add uh, add a component again, and let's choose the name component here to get the product name to appear. Let's then add the uh, price. And finally, we'll also add the um, another attribute here. So we want to add the color to appear at the bottom here. So if I click on attribute, um, by default, you can see it's using the, the skew. Uh, so let's change that. We don't want that to be skew. So we're going to modify this from skew to color. And now we can see that each product's color is appearing at the bottom here. Now, um, for my own future reference, I'm going to rename this component from just attributes. I'm going to change this to color. And then when I come back, I'll see that I now have the, the new name reflected. I also want this green to come immediately after the name because I don't like it at the bottom there. So I can use this control here to move things up and down. So I'm going to move this individual color component up below name. So I can simply just click on the up arrow and we can see that we now have things in the correct order. Finally, uh, if you remember in the original, we didn't have the starting at text over here. Uh, these are configurable products, so they've got different prices based on all of the variations. So this is just one of the prices, but I'm just going to, I want to change this to just show the price. So if we come over to the price component, click on the little cog, and we can see that we've got a few different attributes that are being in use for this particular component. Um, this one here, we don't want to use this, so what all I'm going to do is remove it. And when I remove it, we can now see that the, the standard price of each of these variations is showing. And that's all there is to it. So I've just re recreated in less than 10 minutes, I've recreated this banner. Um, and you can, you can use this tool to create your own templates without having to write a single line of code. Uh, and then you can use this to display uh, all kinds of banners using Clevu for your customers. So yeah, please have fun with it and do, do let us know what you come up with. We'd love to showcase some of your work. Thank you.